Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Ransom. Today we have another formation special for you guys. But I'm promising you guys this is going to be the last time that we're covering a two striker formation. But today we're going to take a look at Jens, one of our players as well, his two striker formation, which is the four triple two. So let's just hop straight into it. So, like we always say, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So we're starting off by taking a look at the team that Jens is using and his instructions and tactics and whatever. Um, Jens is using Alisson in goal, great goalkeeper to be fair. Like uh, Alisson has been doing great for me and other Team Khalid members as well. So I definitely recommend Alisson and obviously Joe Gomez in form, Varane, Mondi, Walker. You're pretty much used to seeing these guys like we said before. You almost see them like 25 out of 30 games in the weekend league. But here is an interesting choice. Bamba, player of the month. Jens says he's okay, nothing special. Don't really uh, regret getting him, but don't really fancy him either. Inform Valverde, we've seen him a couple times now and inform Renato Sanchez as well. Neymar, we've seen those a couple times and they are very good. A fun fact, Renato Sanchez has only scored one goal in 65 games for Jens. So uh, some people recommend him as like the footballing midfielder, but Jens doesn't really score a lot with him. So we don't know. But Jens does score a lot with this guy, R9. CR7, yeah, I mean, we can't say anything bad about those cards. They're just amazing. And this is also a team that Jens uses in qualifiers. That's why he has Bamba, uh, Renato Sanchez and Valverde. And also because he doesn't have any more coins because R9 is a pretty expensive player, right? So taking a look at these instructions, uh, tactics, I should say. Defensive style balanced, 4-4, four, four, uh, width on depth. It's pretty much like we said, you can play around with this 5, 4, 6, but it's not really something that influence, uh, influences this tactic or formation the most. But offensive style, he has long ball, and long ball usually allows your team to make more runs, as the tactic itself says. Jens does play on balance sometimes, but he's now practiced with long ball, and he said it's working more effective than ever before. His wit is on five. Also, see this by uh, in like the previous videos in the formation that usually it is around four to six, or even five. Uh, players in box on four and this, this is important with the four triple two because you already have four very attacking players and like that are also a lit, little bit more narrow um, so definitely you don't want to put that on a lot because they're already around and in the box actually corner kicks and free kicks we're on two like we said before those are essential if you don't want to get countered interesting fact there with the instructions Jens is going a bit fast for me sweeper keeper Sweeper, keeper, and comes for crosses. Definitely recommend you guys to use that. We learned from Jens that as well, that it's very effective. Apart from that, he just has his fullbacks on stay back while attacking. And um, he's using his CDMs as cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center. The cut passing lanes is just an option that Jens uh, likes to put on because he feels like it can only help. It is just personal preference. Um, He's also putting, uh, showing right here that Renato Sanchez, you could use him balanced, like we said, he's usually the footballing midfielder, but he doesn't really like to do that because he will be, get too, he will be too vulnerable in defense. But as we can see here, it's a little interesting fact that he's using CR7 as the left cam. He's not using him as a striker. And on his uh, cams, he has come back on defense and get into the box for cross. So this is already like why he's got um, four... Uh, four dots i should say, call them like four four blocks actually on players in box that he doesn't really really want to overcommit on getting into the box because he's already got the instruction on the cams to get into the box for cross with the strikers he has getting behind on both of them also something that we didn't see in the other guy, uh, guys their tactics and he says like you can kind of mix up with this on having it on come back on defense as well um it's just something that he also thinks is personal preference but they don't really do a lot by tracking back and he's showing the support runs you can mix up with like drift wide target man if stuff isn't going your way 
he also recommends that for the outside camps that if your opponent is like um, playing a very narrow formation or very narrow in defense that you can put them on drift wide so you can create a little bit more space and play, play like a 4-4-2 but with players coming in narrow when you're around the box. So the absolute strength of the 4222 is that it's just a little bit more attacking than the 442 and allows you to still have the wing available for you to attack but especially it's so much more uh, powerful in and around the box because you have like four players that are wanting to get into the box and that is also because of his instructions but as you can see here this is just ping pong passing from outside to the inside and right here when we're with Neymar and Mbappe we have so many options and just our opponent has to keep on track on on like four different players and even if you're smooth on the stick you're gonna get past one and then the space opens up right here we were with Mbappe and we have two players that are available to us. Could have played CR7, we played to Cruyff, do a skill move and it's a beautiful shot to be fair. Uh, you don't really see those go in every day but it's just the fact that you always have this, these multiple options in offense in and around the box to play someone in. Uh, like you can see here as well, skill move on the wing and there's like two players open up in space. Just after this drag to drag and Elastico, we already see Neymar is into space, Cruyff is into space, but we just play it to Cruyff and as easy as that, it is a goal. And that is absolutely the strength of the 4 triple two, that you just have so much more commitment uh, inside the box and like so much more space and movement to work with. Because they usually, um, after a skill move, once you get past one man, the other guy is gonna enter into space. Like you can see here with Neymar, it's just a simple scoop turn and he's walking into space and it's an easy goal. So the weakness of the 4 triple 2 is actually quite similar to the weaknesses of the full 4 2 formations. And that is just mainly because the midfield, you can't really press with that. And I will show you that in these couple examples. You might think that with having the outside cams instead of left and right mids, you might be a little bit more narrow. But to be honest, guys, the cams don't really do too much either, even though you can have them on comeback on defense, but they don't really help out too well on defense. Like you can see here, and this is the, the, the issue. We've pressed, we stepped out with Varon and, uh, or it is Joe Gomez, one of the two. And that is immediately when space opens up. We have to recover and if we don't, it's going to get dangerous. Like you can see here, this frame, we're putting pressure with Renato on the ball, uh, on a potential pass, I should say. But that is going to allow CR7 to make a run into the space, which we could have covered with Renato Sanchez as well if we saw it in time. And that's just when it opens up for uh, CR7 to do something dangerous and this opponent got a little bit fortunate but it's still the issue with the 4 triple 2 you can't really press on with your midfielders because if you're stepping out with your midfielders it's just going to be one-on-one -on -one situations with your center backs and these guys uh, that were shown clips from are pro players so they're they're gonna know what to do when they get around the box right so you want to prevent them from getting there as much as possible and right here this example as well we see one run but and we could cover with renato the pass to uh, i think it's neymar but we should have covered probably two or three different runs. And that's because we tried to put pressure with our midfielders. And that's what's so hard with this uh, 4 triple 2 formation that you always have to make sure what you're covering. So I hope you guys enjoyed Jens, his 4 triple 2 formation. It is a very tough formation defensively, but it is so good offensively. So if you like a lot of goals in your games, then definitely go for this. But you have to be a great defender to make this work perfectly. So I just want to tell you guys, I hope to see you in the next video and thank you for your attention. Ciao, ciao.